Hi and welcome back to my fourth tutorial on Visual Basics. Today I'll be teaching you something about the for and next function, which is basically repeating over and over uh, the same script. It's sort of a loop, alright? So open up Word, click Alt plus, uh, plus F11, create a new user form, and I'll tell you what we're going to make. We're going to make uh, something that will uh, calculate multiplied numbers. So let's say we want uh, the table of 10. So we're going to say 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. And we'll continue like that until we want the loop to stop. Alright? So, first off, let's uh, uh, rename the uh, form to FRM and give the random name. Just call it FRM um, multiply because we're multiplying. It doesn't really matter. Let's change the caption again, so to go to caption, change it to multiply, or tables, whatever. Alright, we need a label, which will tell us uh, what to do. So let's call it LBL um, title, or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And change the caption to uh, number, or anything like that. Alright. It's just uh, showing the user what they should fill in over here. Alright, number. Now we need a text box, which will allow us to enter a number to uh, to calculate uh, with. Alright, let's call it txt uh, number and number and let's uh, create two buttons today. I'll be teaching you uh, a new button which is the end button, the stop button. When you click on this button, it will end the yeah, it will end the the application. All right. So first off, we're going to create uh, the show button. So CMD show, and let's call it uh, show. Change the font a bit to bold. Maybe uh, let's change it to ten, and create another button which will be the stop button. Alright, the eliminate button. Okay, so let's call it CMD stop and change the caption to stop. Alright, now change the font a bit, make it bold. Uh, well, let's make this size 12 and it looks pretty cool like so. Alright, now we're going to create the list box, which is also a new uh, object in our uh, form and it's basically a list. It will, it's sort of a uh, text box but then with multiple uh, multiple lines it, it isn't just one line it's no it's a list it's sort of a list all right so let's create it let's make it a little bit bigger than the others and yeah let's do something like this for now all right now first off let's create the CMD stop button we're going to code something very hard so pay attention. To uh, to quit an application, all we need is AND. So I hope you could follow that. It's pretty hard, but that's it. So let's test it out. Press start, stop, and it, it stops. Alright, so AND is all you need to uh, make an application stop. It isn't hard at all. Alright, now double click on show. And we'll ca we can start to code uh, our list. Alright, now first off I want to tell you something about uh, our code because now you can see the other button is also in our code and that doesn't matter. You can also see a gray little line over here which basically uh, tells us it, it's easier to see what, uh, what routine is what routine. Um, oh, you, I don't think I have told you what a routine is. I'll explain what's uh, written over here. Private means that uh, whatever you enter in uh, that subroutine, it is only for this uh, form. Only for this form is this subroutine. Sub is short for subroutine, and this is the name of our button. So we, if we, this is the CMD show, and when you click on it, it will activate the private subroutine that is only meant for this uh, form because it's a private sub. Alright, 
and sub basically means it's the end of our subroutine all right so go three, three down and let, let's create five different variables so let's declare the variables dim uh, counter as integer we're going to create a counter later on uh, at least we're going to use a counter which is basically the one times whatever two times whatever that number is our counter all right now we're going to declare another which is number as integer number will be uh, the number uh, we enter in here which is first off it's a string and we're going to convert it to a number all right so let's say dim number string as string and we're going to tell the computer to uh, make this a string and then convert it to an integer all right now let's uh, declare an answer just call dim answer as integer because it's an integer nothing else dim line s as string all right the line s is basically um, a line we're going to use in our list box you'll see later on what i mean by that all right now first off we're going to uh, clear the list you were probably thinking why the list is already empty but if you calculate a second calculation uh, it won't remove whatever is inside the list box so every time we have to clear the list first so let's say LST uh, did I already oh shit I forgot to get uh, name the list box let's call it LST uh, let's call it LST numbers because uh, it has to have a name or else I would have a very complicated code so LST numbers dot clear now all it does is clearing the list it isn't hard at all it just clears the list all right now we're going to uh, say that number s is txt number this one right over here dot text and we're going to convert number uh, is c int number s all right now this means that we're converting uh, we're converting this string into an integer you can also use int instead of c int but they both have different values and it isn't really uh, we try to know something about it right now just use c int or int doesn't really matter that much right now all right now we're going to use the list we're going to calculate with our uh, list box so we're going to use the function for counter is 1 to 10 now what this means is that um, for so we're going, we're going to use counter counter starts off with 1 and will uh, after it's used it will go to 2 then we'll go to 3 then go to 4 so every time this loop uh, it's a loop all right so uh, the first time of the loop it's 1 and then after 10 times it's 10 all right so we're going to say for counter is 1 to 10 answer is counter times number all right so here counter is uh, basically the number uh, that's uh, one times blah 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 is one two times blah blah is three times blah blah is so counter is that number number is the number which is uh, multiplied so if we enter in here like 10 it's 10 every single time an answer is the answer we're uh, using all right then we're telling the computer line s is string all right pay attention string counter so we're saying a uh, line s is string counter and it's an x and it's string number and it's an equal symbol and it is string 
answer. All right. So line S is stored with this information. These are all strings now. So it's basically just text now. So it has stored. Let's say we ended at 10 in here and we click on show. It will store 1 because counter is 1 for the first time an X uh, symbol, so it will say, it, it looks like, for the human, like 1 times 10 is answer, so 10 again. Then it will uh, go into the loop again, and the counter will be 2. 2 times 10 equals to 10. Alright, that's all it is. And now I have to go tell the computer to LST numbers uh, dot add item line s so it will add uh, the item line s which is the first time one times number we entered equals answer all right and then we're going to tell it to continue the loop uh, till it's finished next counter all right let's clean up our number dot text like so so it doesn't have any any number in here again all right i'll show you again what it does let's play it now in, in let's say we entered five and click on show as you can see here it will have one two ten so this number right here is the counter every loop this is the number you entered here and this is the answer so the x this x and this equal sound everything that's in here is line s do you get it and every time when it calculated and stored information in line s it will create uh, and and put that item in the, our list box so that's basically all it does i'll post the, the code in the description of my video and yeah i'll just Try, you know what? I have an assignment for you again. Instead of that it automatically uses 10, I want you to find something uh, that you can uh, change uh, that number yourself. Alright? It isn't hard at all, but this will... It's, it's a nice little task for my last few tutorials. Alright? So, uh, one hint, you have to make this a variable. So thanks for watching, I hope you can figure this all out, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks!